just George, uh, what about the inheritance? And speaking of lazy people, how do we deal with people who are born rich and have passive income? Uh, I don't think is fair uh, to be active. Wake up from nine wake up from nine and work until five for someone uh, to be having a passive income and if you notice most of the people screwing stuff over are uh, are these rich people i don't think uh you know you've seen those shirts that says eat the rich no fuck what is that right eat the rich okay first of all what do you consider rich right so all those people i've seen people wearing uh, shirts in canada saying eat the rich well relative to congo everybody is canada is rich so do people in congo have the right to come and eat all canadians <laughs> it just doesn't make sense right eat the rich this war on the rich on the wealthy is wrong it should be war on corruption it should be war on tyrants it should be war on technocrats right but eat the rich doesn't make sense right because wealth is relative right where do you live what where do you travel to what do you own like who you are what your income is passive income i have no problem with passive income right like for me i get a little bit of money comic book money from sensor tube ads do you consider that passive i don't know it's not passive really because i'm working my ass off doing this stuff but i could not do something for a month and that income would still be coming in it's not much it's been cut in half over the last three years right it should have been going up but it's been cut in half because of been shadow banned. but that is still passive income so is that wrong no it's not wrong right as far as inheritance goes a lot of people that get inherit inheritance they blow that inheritance if they're stupid within one generation it's gone right there's a lot of wealthy people that used to be wealthy and they're poor as fucking because they're stupid right so it's it's the tax system a centralized power that is needs to be dealt with not rich people or poor people okay because the rich people would turn around and say take all the poor people put them in a camp right don't divide people up based on their wealth that's not the right thing to do there's a lot of rich people that are trying to do a lot of good in the world right you can't go eat them it doesn't make sense okay 990 off topic but how do you keep uh beefsteak tomatoes from splitting when they are growing uh, i wanted from what i understand one of the reasons tomatoes split is if they're uh, deprived of water for a little bit of time and then all of a sudden they get a lot of water and then they expand and they split right so when you see tomatoes that are split that means during the growth process there was a period where they were deprived of water right and then all of a sudden they get a lot of water they go and their skin uh, opens up so what you want to do with tomatoes you want to make sure they're always well watered you don't want to let them go dry right not here in theory people born in wealth have more time to think up ways to steal from oppressed the downtrodden lower class ah uh, no they have a lot of time to figure out ways to blow their money uh and uh do shit, right i know i know some, some wealthy people have lost a shitload of money i know some wealthy people are the dumbest fucking doornails right or doorknobs uh, I know some wealthy people that are really amazing people man. I know one wealthy person that owns a company in Vancouver has 100 200 people working at his company right and he had offers from multinational corporations to buy out his company right for good fucking money and he was like you know what they couldn't promise me what was going to happen to my workers and I had this conversation with him like five years ago or so it was super cool actually I really like the guy I've known him for like over 25 years or so 20 years easy right and he was like look they made me this offer but in good conscience I couldn't sell the company to them because 
they were going to downsize. And I have all these people working for me that they have families, they have mortgages. I can't just kick him out. I'm, I'm, he's like, I'm making good money. But the money coming in, what they offered me was phenomenal, right? And he's a very wealthy person. Phenomenal, right? But uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't accept it because they weren't guaranteeing jobs for all these workers, all, all these relationships I built. So he kept this company, right? Which is honorable, which is honorable. 